everybody and welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Today is going to be a special edition because we are visiting Puerto Rico where I am from. So I am super excited that you also get to see this beautiful flora and fauna. All the amazing things that are growing over here. This is my mom's house and this is my father's farm. So we are going to go for a little tour and get to see and enjoy many of the wonderful things that are growing over here. We're also going to show you some of the flowers, vegetables and fruits and stuff that is growing at my uncle's house. I have been visiting a few of my my close family members so they all grow food and I cannot emphasize how important it is to grow food and not lawns so let's grow food and not grass everywhere right yummy food everywhere if you have a little tiny lot you can do it so let's go for the little tour and enjoy guys first off is the coconut tree we love to drink the coconut, it has some amazing benefits and also you can even eat the pulp inside of the coconut, right? So it is amazing. You not only have solid food, you also have some beautiful, wonderful, yummy water juice, right? So this is gonna be the coconut water. And here there's a little clip of my father also doing, you know, cutting the coconut so you get to enjoy it. How to open a coconut. Papi says, Never, ever, ever open a coconut. Ahí está, espérate, wait a second. Water. Amazing. Never, ever, ever open a coconut from the bottom. If you open it from the bottom, it will be very difficult to actually get to the hole where you have the water. So it always says to open it in the front, at the top. And, yes. But he actually caught it, and look at this amazing one. Yes! So you can actually eat that beautiful coconut and we're gonna drink this coconut water. Yeah, that's my amazing father. He is incredible. I love you, puppy. Mm. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Yesterday we did this cute little vegetable garden for my mom and it's very easy we just you know as you guys have seen in other of my videos you can go check it out and what you do is just you know remove the grass and then after you remove the grass then you lay some of the cardboard and then plant your your stuff and then you go ahead and put then some mulch on top of it so you see that we grow some spinach we have also some pumpkins some spaghetti squash Oregano, um, paletaria, which is really good for your stomach. It's grown here in Puerto Rico. And then we also have some lettuces and stuff that is growing, tiny little seeds that we put in there. And tomatoes as well. So let's see if we get all of those growing. This is the almond tree and it's pretty cool because you do get lots of those almonds. Let me show you how they look. This is how the almond grows and you see that it's all green, juicy and soft. It's not ready to be harvested. Then it dries out completely like this. And once it's dry like this, that means that the almond is ready to be harvested. So you go ahead and you open it. And when you open it, you will see that it's empty like that. And you see that little almond hole like that. That's where you have the almond. Super cool. These are all the banana field. Lots of bananas. There's a mango tree growing over there. And 
this our um, Puma Rosa tree. You guys remember the Puma Rosa video? And I'm gonna put in here a little short of the Puma Rosa because when we arrived here, the tree had some Puma Rosa. Wow! Bella. So this tree is the Pumarosa tree. How beautiful it is. This humongous. And then the tree next to it is another almond tree. Those are a few of those. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Over here in the center, this is an avocado tree. Aguacate. Let me put in here some footage of the avocados that we have half harvested from our uncles and friends. We have a mango tree. And I'll put in here a little link of the mango. That over there, right there, that big tree over there at the top, that is a banana tree. And I'll put also a little video or image of the banana. Aha, I got you. So cute. Papaya. Padre Santo. They're not ready to be harvested. Once they get like yellow in the outside and they are very pink in the inside, they're ready to be harvested. And it's so yummy, yummy, yummy. And they grow really big. I mean, you can see this. This is like my arm, my hand almost. Like this is crazy. Half of my hand. see some banana trees over there and you can see an avocado tree over here you see the avocados growing and then over here you can see that there's a banana growing over there There's another one over there. I want to show you this tree, which is the Caimito tree. So you see that tree over there? That tree is the Caimito. And you see right next to it, there's coconuts. Lots of coconuts, but that's the neighbor's tree. Oh, some of it in our side, which is so good. <laughs> this tree is Jovillo. So, well, they look like, well, my mom says that they're plums, a type of plums. So I need to double check that. But they do taste like Jovillo. And I like them more green and not completely ripe. And they're very soury. But my mom likes it very already ripe so let's take some of these they're complete ripe is when it's red like this Ooh, 
wish it fell to the ground. So let's take this, this one over here. That's ripe. And then, oh, you see, it's like so juicy, so soft. Mine, the one that I like, is like almost getting ripe. So it's hard, a little bit hard. So I'm gonna take a few of these. Wow, they're, wow, they keep on falling. I'm gonna have to take a basket because we have a few. Okay, I'm gonna leave them here. And this are gonna be taken in a basket in a second. So beautiful. God it is amazing. tree this wabas are not as big as the one that i showed you guys these are a little bit smaller and there's the chickens we my neighbor has lots of chickens and he gave us chicken eggs <laughs> yesterday morning <laughs> oh, those are the chickens well that's a rooster but we do have my neighbor has chickens and he he gave us chicken eggs since the moment that we arrived here he is really awesome that's the Olivi. he's really cool he's always giving us lots of yummy stuff he also grows lots of food but the chickens eat away all the things that we grow because they cannot stop eating so we have to put fence to everything there you go. Happy chickens. Three in the wild. <laughs> this over here is the achote. You know, sometimes you cook, at least a lot of the Puerto Rican people, Latino, Latinos, we always have um, this sazon, which gives it color to the food, that red color. So you can get this red color from here. So let me just harvest one so you can see it so let me get one of these it's very it has the spikes but it's not actually doesn't it doesn't hurt you at all so let me just see one hand is a little bit difficult <laughs> there we go got one let me get two just in case oh, there we go so let's we're gonna go open this so you can see it and in here you can see the seeds, which many times you buy them already dried like that, so that way you don't get so dirty with red color. So like this over here, this seeds over here, that's are the ones that you buy at the store that it says achote, which gives them a red color to the food. Throw them in there. You can see them. So let me show you the ashote when you open it. You just open it aside. And you see this red dots thing over there? Those are what gives coloring effect to everything. I just touch one. You see my finger? <laughs> it's gonna be really red. And that can stay on you forever for a long time. And that's what we use for giving coloring for food. And the sazon that you buy, you're getting it from here. And it's a shoot. Amazing. I love it. a baby one still it has the coloring effect the same and then this is almost ripe and it already has that coloring effect when it's really ripe it comes out juice like in this orange color so pretty cool i love it but when it's ripe, it's because the seed has the, the fruit outside that's gonna be all red. So 
so that tells you. And now I'm gonna have my fingers orange all day long. <laughs> and this is the papaya. Papaya growing in the back of the house. And it's super yummy and amazing. It's really good for your stomach. So let me show you something really cool guys. In here you can see this plant which is the Mimosa Pudica and we call in here Moribibi. So it's like you die and you come to life back again. So we call it like that because just by touching it, you see just by touching it, it closes and then you know a few minutes later it will come back to life. It's completely harmless and we in here consider it a weed, but now people are growing them in their houses just to play with them. How crazy is that? When we're a little used to do this all the time. And this is what this was our enjoyment, how to entertain ourselves. And then in here you can see also that in the stem you have these little tiny spikes. So it's not good to be walking in here barefooted. And that's why we consider it a weed, because if you walk barefooted in here, then you will be, you know not happy with the spikes so it's not the actual plant itself and the the little flower or the leaves it's the stem that it has those little spikes but it's pretty cool i might actually try to get some to take home to play with it because i just love how stress it's such a stress reliever it is and it seems it's raining yes let's go inside mimosa pudica and in here you have lots of aloe vera. Look at that beautiful, wonderful, juicy aloe vera. Look at that, amazing. There's a few over here too. And you can check the videos. We have a whole playlist of aloe vera, so go check it out.
hope that you enjoyed the video. I know that I did. May you have an amazing day. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the miracles. And I'll see you again next Tuesday. Bye, guys. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye. God bless.